Hello everybody, my name is Ruta Solo from Corival.com and in today's video I am going to show you five tips in Parkour and Power BI that if you didn't know them, you wish you knew them before. How about that? Let's get started. Looking forward to this. Okay, so the first three tips are on Power Query. I'm doing a lot of Power Query stuff, so here's the thing. The first one. The first one is about parameters. When you go here and click Edit Parameters, you see Database and Server first. And you might think that they are the order is the order of the um, alphabetical order. It is not, actually. So if you want to change and put, obviously, Server first and then Database, for example, if you're trying to do parameters for a connection, they normally start with the server. The only thing that you need to do is to change the order in the list in Power Query. And whatever order you apply there is the order that it will show here, which is really, really cool. Not intuitive at all, but you see, it works. So everybody happy. Tip number two on Power Query. This is really good in my opinion and in no, not easy to discover either. Okay, you have a query, you, you want to refresh it just to be able to see the new changes. You click refresh and then say, oh no, 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 wait, I didn't want to do it. And say, how do I cancel? If you click in here, let me refresh again. If you click in here, you see that this is disabled? Cancel refresh is not. So if you click in there, it will kill the query and you can still work. Did you know that? I know that it's really not intuitive because it just, you see, gets disabled, which you would might think that everything is disabled. It is not. You can cancel any query at any time and continue working in the code. This is a lifesaver for sure, for sure, for sure. Save me a thousand of times, especially when you have these long queries that you just ding, 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 ding. Last tip for Power Query. Let me show you. This is, again, doing a lot of Power Query stuff right now. So when you have a lot of functions, so you have a lot of tables and you have a lot of M code, where you're just crazy developing M intelligence, it just gets so slow, so, so slow. So what I'm doing, is disabling. You can actually disable M intelligent, and once you disable that, you can work work so much faster. Disadvantage of this, I have to Google a little bit more the functions that I'm using, but it's just just worth it. It just takes way too long time sometimes to fix M intelligence. Actually, you know, for for it to load and to generate and all that stuff. So if you have a lot of M code. I recommend you to disable it. The next one is about Power Query, or Power BI cross highlighting and cross filtering. Here's the thing, I've seen it before. I've got that requirement before. Like one of the things they say to me that I don't like about Power BI is just everything filters everything, and it's just too overwhelming. Yeah, I just want to have the numbers, that's it. They want a dashboard, they don't want an interactive report. So can you do that with Power, Query, Power BI? Here's the thing, if you go here to Query Reduction, again on Options and Settings Options, there is an, a possibility here of disabling cross-highlighting and cross-filtering. There is a but, and I'm afraid it's not a good but, it does disable it. So for example, if I click here, nothing in here, if you see, look at the numbers, look at them you see they don't change even though i'm filtering but it's so not intuitive because you can see these circling like i'm doing something i'm filtering but nothing is filtering which is horrible experience actually but you still can do it anyhow so maybe the best way is just to put a big box on top that is transparent so nobody can click anything uh, so Hopefully they'll change that because it's not very intuitive and it is the same for all. You see everything moves but nothing changes, which is not very good. But anyhow, the functionality is there. Last tip of the day that is for Power BI service. So this last tip is for the slicers. This works only, by the way, on the service. It doesn't work on Power BI desktop. And it is, you have a slicer and you have the possibility as a, you know, designer to add the search box, but sometimes you just forget, you know, you have a lot of search box, you have a lot to do, and then you just, so if your users want to have it, 
you can click on the slicer and then open it up and then control F and you see that it shows up and down. Now, make sure that you have chosen the slicer. I click somewhere else and this thing will show. And then if you go in here, you won't be able to. So if you click in there, it won't happen. You have to click first on the title and then open it. Not very intuitive again. But if you find the technique, then you can search on any slicer without having that configured, which is super cool. So did I manage to surprise you with any of them? Do you have any favorites? Let me know in the comment box. Looking forward to know what you think. So hi guys, how are you doing in there? This is the part where we would take a Power BI exam question. And I am afraid that I'm not going to do that anymore. Here's the thing, there are some companies that actually give exam questions to the students to prepare for them. Uh, doing some research for how the Microsoft exams work, I actually learned that not only do they don't provide questions, they don't endorse the method of study, right, to, to study questions. So I'm afraid I have to stop. What does it mean? Well, for me, <laughs> it basically means that I am not going to take the exam, I'm not going to find the time, but I don't want to leave you hanging. So for you guys that have started this process, I have found on the web that um, Parker from BI Elite, he actually has a course. So I'm going to link it down below so you can go there and take the exam, you know, prepare for it and take the exam. As to for what I've done so far, I'm going to delete it probably already this week and it's going to be a little bit of work but it has to be done basically so apologies for that uh, but it is what it is so if you have an idea of what we can do at the end of each video that we can do together just let me know in the comment box we will do that uh, until then as always enjoy take care stay safe stay home or <laughs> outside if you can and i'll see you again on friday again sorry to these guys bye